Hey guys, and welcome back to the amazing Fisk's Super Hero Mod. You already know I have to web swing around a little bit. Like, it's just too fun. Hold on a second. <laughs> Today, as you can see behind me, we have a multiverse of anime characters here to show off. This is the Multiverses anime pack, adding in, as you can tell, characters from My Hero Academia, Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball, Demon Slayer, and even more One Punch Man characters. Now, this isn't everyone. There are actually a bunch more characters from other shows. For example, Finn from Adventure Time, John Wick from, uh, well, uh, the show, you probably never heard of it, John Wick, and a whole crap ton more. But I thought, let's only grab a few of them. That way, you guys can go check out the mod for yourself, or should I say, the hero pack for yourself. But Everything you see behind me today, I am going to be jumping in and testing out for myself. So, if you do end up enjoying the video, then <laughs> what are you doing? Be sure to drop a like, be sure to subscribe, and let me know if you want me to jump in in the future for more Hero Pack showcases. But anyway, uh, with all that said, let's just jump straight into the My Hero characters, shall we? We've got five to start off with. Starting off with All Might, Deku, Bakugo, Ochaku, and Todoroki. Uh, who do I want to start? You know, I may as well just grab all of them, shouldn't I? We'll chuck on All Might. <laughs> Yo, look at my hair. Wait, where, where'd my skin go? What the frick? 2,000 years later. I kid you not, because I have no internet, this took over an hour for, get, for me to get my skin on. But anyway, enough about that. Let's jump into the first skin. Or should I say the first suit? Our boy, All Might. Th I love the size different. Wait, 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 hold up. Can't say that on YouTube. But as you can see, as All Might, we only have two separate abilities being super speed. Very fitting for his character. I don't know. I don't want to jump off the building in case I can't get back up here. Uh, you know, screw it. I can fly up. And along with that, we also have Detroit smash being a right click oh yep all right cool what is in this version of minecraft that i can kill uh what doesn't burn in the day an enderman yeah you don't burn in the day what's the astro uh, no buddy how strong is all my no bro stop running bum oh one hit okay that didn't kill him hold on bro oh, okay this is already getting annoying one two three three hits doesn't kill one four four hits okay cool now with the detroit smash if i no bit where did you go oh, i'm just gonna keep spoiling them right click oh oh yeah, there we go. I think that was the same Enderman. I hope that was the same Enderman. <laughs> but what does Deku have to offer? So if we take this one off and then jump into Deku's outfit. Oh, of we get shorter? Are you serious? Look how short we are. No. We have a lot of different abilities though. Yo, we're diving into the new stuff. Oh, Danger Sense allows us to do... Okay, this one's going to be pretty cool. Hold on. This one's going to take a little bit of practice to get good at. But it looks like we have all of these different quirks. Or at least a few of the different quirks. If you guys aren't caught up with My Hero, you might want to skip this part. <laughs> First ability being second gear shift, which is a scroll. Huh? Oh, there we go. So that is the normal ability we have seen Deku use all the time. His little lightning ability appears around him and we can slow ourselves down to the first one, making us this quick or speed it back up. Then we have our next ability being the third quirk, which is Fajin, which I'm pretty sure is... Yeah, we can boost our speed even more. Wait, so how does that work? Can I put... Oh, well, yo, that I like. We can boost our speed even more. That is cool. That is really cool attention to detail. And it only lasts a certain amount of time time, which is pretty much spot on to what it does in the show. Next is his fourth quirk being Danger Sense, which is basically just the Spidey Sense, allowing me to use slow motion to help me control myself a little bit better when I'm running quick. Definitely helps a lot when we activate this one, turn up our gear shift, and instead of having uncontrollable speed, we can activate the Danger Sense ability. And as you can see, it looks like we're running slow, but if I let go, whoop, there we go. We have full easy maneuverability whoo, in this form, which is just Mm, so smooth to use. Now, the next one, if this has been implemented how I think it could be implemented, I am going to freak out. We have the fifth quirk being Black Whip. <gasps> oh, that is not what I thought it was going to be, but that is really cool. Yo, wait, what? So we can use it like an actual Dr. Octavia's robot arm ability. I was kind of hoping it was going to be like the Spider-Man one. Maybe if I, hold on, if I hold down shift, yeah, as you can see, it gets rid of my black whip. But can I use black whip whip while holding shift? Ooh, no, it just does. Okay, it just does that. But as you can see, jumping around and then catching myself. Oh, God. I can control myself and move around the environment using the black legs. And if I combine this with some of my other abilities, like, uh, yo, oh, we can use it, like, as an actual attack. We have black whip grab. If I activate, hold up. I put my black whip away and then activate my second gear and then activate black whip. Yeah, <laughs> we have them combined. That is sick. And then my last quirk being smokescreen, which I'm pretty sure is just 
Yeah, okay, yeah. It just makes it, every, it makes it a little bit harder for people to follow us. Honestly, not that much though. I thought it was gonna like put a whole smoke screen around us. I guess, I guess that's what it's doing, but still, this is really cool. Honestly, just for a little hero pack, this is really well implemented. But now, let's move on to the next one. Bing Bakugo. Let's see what he's got for us. As Bakugo, we can activate explosive speed, which just gives us a little bit of a speed boost. And wait a minute, we might be able to fly with this, can I? So, fly, explosive speed. Oh, it's not letting me even activate it. Like, I can charge my AP shot, but that's it. It just lets me charge my AP shot up. So, charge and fire. Simple fire ability. But why, why isn't it letting me activate my super speed? Maybe I do have to be in creative for that one. Activate. Scroll. Oh, no. Did I break it? I might have broke it. Oh, no. <laughs> speed. Oh, no. I can't activate my speed. Oh, no. There we go. Hold up. So, now... Oh, okay. So, we can't fly with it, but it does let us jump super high. Let's easily move across into the next one. Up next, we're going to have... Oh, yeah. Ochaku. Let's see it. Your rabbity's abilities are pretty damn cool. So, I'm wondering... Ooh. Ooh. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Spawn in a creeper and then gravity. Does that... Uh, ooh. Are we making them weigh less or more? Did that do anything? Are you guys less now? How do I know if you guys... How do I test this? <laughs> Can I... I can't use anything. Hold on. Maybe it's that. Oh, there we go. So that's... Okay. Super heavy ability. So as you can see, jumping now is making me heavy. And now if I turn it up that way, jumping should make me light. Yes. Okay. This one's really tough to use, but it does work. There we go. And now we can just float. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, so, and I let go of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it only lasts a certain amount of time. Pretty accurate for what you'd think it would be. So now if I punch you. And then turn up gravity. Punch. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, I like that. Turn up gravity. So like this. And then max gravity. Bang! <laughs> that is cool. We've got Todoroki. This guy could have some crazy abilities. And as we can see, we've already got three to our left. We've got toggle icy hot. Ooh. Oh, yo, way, way. That is sick. Simple little fly. Oh, okay. So we could throw ice from our left hand or right arm. Then we got dancing flame, which, uh-oh. Oh, oh, whoa. We've got a charged fire attack. Yo, let's see that on some creepers real quick. See how much damage it does. Spawn you in, spawn you in, spawn you in. There we go. Now, how much does the ice? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so not too crazy. But now if I toggle the fire and use my flame dance or dancing flame. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's more like a beam attack. That does a bunch of damage. Then we've got our ice shield, which... Whoa, look at... Yo, look at that. <laughs> does that combine? So if I turn that off and then crouch shift. No, that just constantly gives us a shield. That's cool. And then we have C. Whoa. <laughs> that is... Oh, it's like a shotgun. We can charge it up and then bang. Okay. Spawn a few creepers in so we can see this. Charge it up and then... Boop. Oh, that is, that is nice. That is nice. I really like that ability. This one, probably my favorite so far. The ice abilities we get on him and then toggle the fire. This, like this looks sick. And if we have the fire turned off, there's no smoke. But if you have the fire turned on, there's smoke on your right side. What? The attention to detail on this is sick. All right, all right. That's where we're going to end it for all of the My Hero characters. Who have we got next? Let's jump into one of the solos, I think. Maybe, uh, you know what? Let's jump into the Demon Slayer characters. Bing, Tanjiro, our boy, who's even got the box where Nezuko stays in. Let's put these on. I don't think this is going to be, yeah, that crazy. <gasps> okay, maybe I'm wrong. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> so we've got first form, and that is that it? Oh, we've only got... Oh, the... Yo, wait a minute. That's actually really nice attention to detail. We get like a water slashing ability. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's test it out on some creatures. Let's see what it does. So first up, spawn the sword. One, two, three. Three hits, but with water breathing. One, two, two hits. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Very simple, but very good and accurate to what Tanjiro can do. I wish all of his other moves were implemented and maybe there is a way to switch through them, but it's looking like he's only got one for now. So I can't wait to see what he does in the future. Up next, we're going to jump into, I'd say, let's jump into the One Piece characters, starting with our boy, Shanks. Yeah. Now Shanks could, oh yeah. Okay. I was about to say Shanks could have some hockey abilities. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he does have hockey abilities. Let's go test these out on the floor level. All right. Pour in some more creepers. There we go. Starting with his Hockey. Whoa. Oh, he's even, he's got one arm. <laughs> I, I expected that, but that is sick. All right, so we can sport in our sword, which we can just do two hit damage with. Nothing crazy. Activate hockey, which is on our fist, which is one, two, three hits with our fist. Okay, okay, okay. Then we have observation hockey. Oh, it just slows down time for us, allowing us to react quicker. And now the two that I'm very curious about, color of the Supreme Kings and color of the Supreme Kings normal. Let's start with the normal one, F. Ooh. 
Oh, wait, this is like a form of hockey. We can like lower the gravity kind of like we could with uh, Ochaku. I think, is this lighter? Whoa, okay, no, hold on. I did something wrong there. So activate this one. Hit. No. Hit. How do I know what this does? <laughs> hold on a minute. Game mode zero. All right, hey, creeper. So activate. Oh, whoa, activate. Uh, this. No, this. No, it's not doing anything. Does that do anything? All right, let's try B. B and right click. Boop. Oh, Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I get it because you could easily, yeah, you could probably combine these together and do some stupid stuff like controlling them and pull them inwards. I think I'm not too sure what the no the other ability does, but it looks like we can cause like an earthquake. And then there's just this, which I don't quite know. Does that affect us? No. What about now? No. So it's not a gravity attack. Hmm. No idea what that does then. Hmm. Not too sure. Up next, I'm gonna save the best two for last, being Zora and Luffy. Let's jump into Boa Hancock because she also has some pretty cool abilities. And ah, damn! In this one, it looks like she only whoa has one. I mean, she dummy thick, which is always good. But like, look at this! We can fire a beam from our hands. I don't know if that does any damage. It looks like it's going to. But let's uh put that to the test, shall we? Creepers, I'm sorry. And you're the only test subjects I've got. Beam. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's not too strong, but still does some damage. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing crazy. Just in case, shift beam does nothing. And then we got to check, does she have a flight? Damn, okay. No flying ability either, but still pretty cool. Pretty cool. Chuck that back in the display stand. And now let's jump in to Zoro's ability. Zoro is definitely not going to be as good as Luffy's because we have two sword style. Ooh, which unlocks a bunch of abilities or one sword style. Damage wise, let's see what this does. One sword, one, two. Two hits. That's really strong. Upgrade to that. Two sword style. One, two. Okay, one, two. What if we double click? Okay, it does the same amount of damage. Sure. <laughs> oh, wow. And we have three sword style V. Let's go. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Does this do more damage though? Hold up a second. So three sword style. Activate with that. So three sword. One. Whoa, that gives massive knockback. Okay, so that's what three sword does. And we can combine three sword to test out the other abilities. First one up being Onogiri. And I probably butchered how that one said, but... Wait a minute, we get slow down time and then charge. That's a one hit. <laughs> so activate and then run in slice. What? Okay, that's cool. I like that ability. And then we have his 180 pound Phoenix, which should be a ranged attack. Yup. <laughs> yes, it is. That we just fire a beam of lightning straight from our swords. Charge. Boop. That's so cool. I wish these had sound effects. That's the only thing this hero pack's missing. But still, these are really spot on and accurate, especially with the fact that it adds three sword styles. Some mods can't even add this. Oh, and if you put the swords away... <laughs> I love that. If you put the other two swords away, you still keep the sword in your mouth and it puts the swords in the holsters while leaving the other one still in your mouth. That's really nice attention to detail. I like that. All right, now let's move on to the next character, being our boy Luffy. I think he's going to have a lot of abilities. Yep. All right. There we go. We have combat mode, gum gum, boom, baton, second gear stance, and third gear. All right. So we don't have fourth gear or any of its other forms, and we don't have fifth gear, but still, this sounds like it's going to be ridiculous. And start off with the gum gum abilities, being B. B is... Uh... <laughs> Yo, that's our defense. Yeah. Okay. Let's test it. Let's test it. We got to see it. Activate. Come on, guys. Boop. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we take no damage while like that. That is so good. Can we use the combat mode to... Yes, we can use it to climb. All right, all right. I'm like, I'm going to like this. I'm going to like this. So in combat mode, it looks like we have access to kind of the Dr. Octavius moves. So we can use Gum Gum Pistol, which is... That's just spot on, man. What? So we have extra range, meaning we can just spam click that. That, yes. That I love. I love that. Do we have... We don't have any grabbing abilities unless I can... I can right click them. No, I can't. Okay, okay. Okay, so we can just use Gum Gum Hit, or Gum Gum Pistol, I should say. While in combat mode, we can use it like Dr. Octavius's arms and climb up things like buildings and all that kind of stuff. Then we have second gear. Oh, let's go. So we can activate second gear. Okay, so G. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> While in second gear, I'm assuming, yeah, we smoke and we can use all of our other abilities. So V. No, we can't activate that. Oh, what? And then we also have third gear, which should be giant attack. So G. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, uh, oh. <laughs> yes. We have a giant fist, which one shots things. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. Wait, so punch wall, right click. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. We have to see that again. Let's try that again. Third gear and then punch. Uh, boop. 
Yes! That is, oh, that is so spot on. I love that. That is so spot on. <laughs> yes, that is great. Question is though, can I activate third gear while also being like this? So third gear. Yes, you can. Let's go. Can I use this ability? No, I can't use that one, but I can activate third gear while in this form or in base form, I should say. Up next, we have our final three characters. One being Naruto, one being Goku, who I'm going to save to the end. And then next up is, um, I keep forgetting her name. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Tatsumaki? I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name. If I've said that wrong, I apologize, but I'm expecting her to have, yeah, a lot of abilities. If I jump in survival, the first thing I need to see is, can she fly? Yes, she can. And of course, she puts her arms behind her back. All badass like, yes. All right, let's see what all of these abilities can do. Telekinesis grab. That looks like it's going to be used on a character or a person. So let's see what that does to... Uh, let's try it on an Enderman. Hey, buddy. Yeah, spawn you in. And oh, of course, you're gone already. All right. No. All right, this is why I grab creepers. You guys don't work with me very well. Spawn a creeper in and then telekinesis grab. Yes. 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 And then I can just be like, sorry, don't really like you. Boop. <laughs> oh, buddy. Is he dead? How did you survive that? Can I grab you while you're down? I can't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no idea what just happened then. Grab you and boop. There we go. And then grab, throw you over there. Boop. Yes, that works like a charm. That's great. And then I can just, you. Did that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is really cool. I like that one. Psychic barrier, which, oh, V. Doesn't seem to be doing... Oh, there we go. That's this one. Which seems to just be a basic right click. It doesn't seem to actually require me to hold down V or anything. Unless it's a shift V? Not too sure on that one. Whirlwind, which is... Oh, this is going to be another explosive ability. Yup. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is nothing crazy. Like, I spawn a creeper in. It's just going to take constant damage. Physics binding. Uh, scroll. Oh, okay. So this is another one of the also probably lighten or heavier people. I'm not... I'm not too sure. Yeah, okay, so it seems to make people lighter. Yeah, okay, there we go. Not too crazy. Make myself heavier. Yeah, a little bit heavier. All right, all right, not too crazy. I don't know how I feel about that one. I expected her to be a little bit more ridiculous, especially because some of her abilities in One Punch Man look absolutely insane. But hey, there's a reason I'm saving Naruto and Goku. There's a reason I'm saving them. Speaking of Naruto and Goku, let's move on to Naruto next. This boy better have some good-ass ability. Oh. No, he crashed the game. No. Oh, no, the Rasengan doesn't work. Well, I guess that's a chat for Naruto fans. Crap. Well, we've all crashed the side. Let's jump into the final anime character being our boy, Goku. Yes, we have a lot. We have Ultra Instinct. There's no way. All right, hold on. Let's test this by jumping. Uh, first of all, no, grab some creepers. There we go. A stack of creepers should do. And then let's jump into game mode survival. Oh, so we get another roll of hearts. Can I fly? Yes. Yo. Okay, wait a minute. Goku actually might have like, can we do tricks? No, we can't do tricks, but still, look at he's flying! <laughs> the little simple animation, I love that. Can we use, like, the Kamehameha? <gasps> we can't, we can just instantly fire a Kamehameha. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's spawn in some, uh, spawn creeper, creeper. Cre yeah, hold on, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then we just Kamehameha, oh, Kamehameha, and boop! Oh, yo! It one-shots them with ease! Alright, what about Meteor Combination? So, Meteor Combination, there we go, and then hit. Hmm? This, oh, so that is basically just like a charged punch. It doesn't give us anything too crazy because our punch is already one-shot stuff. Oh, should I say two-shot things? But when you activate Meteor... Ah, oh, crap. When you activate Meteor, you could basically just one-shot a lot of things. I wonder how much damage that actually does. Let's find out real quick. Hold on, let's spawn in a Wither. <laughs> Wait, can I just go... It's summoning... Yeah, summon Wither. Wither. No, Wither boss. Yeah, there we go. All right, so Meteor combination. All right, bro, bro, come here. One hit. One hit. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, that is actually a good chunk of damage. And we could just like multi-hit him. That is really good. And look how much damage we automatically do just by itself. What about Kamehameha? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, okay, that is, that is insane. That is actually insane. All right, what about some of these other things? Like we got Raging Strike, which is a... Oh, no. Oh, that is just going to be a... Wait, is that basically just a stronger version of the... Hold on, let's spawn another boss so we can see this. <laughs> spawn boss, yeah, Raging Strike, and no, Punch. No, okay, it doesn't seem to be too crazy. I don't know what Raging Strike does then. Raging Strike again. Hit? No? Hmm, not too sure on that one. Well, I guess we can just use the Kabeya and kill this guy. There we go. Sorry, Wither. And you are dead. <laughs> that is so good. Up next is the Spirit Bomb, which we charge up and then... Do we piff it? Ooh. Oh, man, I was expecting something way cooler than that. Like, if I spawned in a bunch of creepers, I bet that won't even look that good. So, jump back, and then Spirit Bomb, let it charge up, and then... Bang. Oh, did, did it even... Yeah, okay, well, it killed them all, but <laughs> that did... What was that? No, hold on, what was that? Because I saw it for it. Oh, there it is. Huh? 
Oh, that is, that is weird. I don't know how I feel on that. That is like <laughs> really weird. It shows where it's going to go and then it just explodes. Mm, I don't know how I feel on that. I wish it showed up in first person as well. That's all right though, because up next we have the one, the only Ultra Instinct. Yo, wait. Okay, so we can stay in Ultra Instinct form and time just gets slowed down for us. That is a smart way of doing it, but I mean, that might also limit some of our other abilities, like the Kamehameha. How, wait, how strong are we? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Spawn in a Wither Boss, activate Ultra Instinct. Sorry, Wither, how much damage? Okay, still the same amount of damage. Nothing crazy if we charge up our Meteor Combination. Yeah, okay, this is this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Goku is insane. He is definitely one of the most crazy. Like, look at that. What even is this now? Combining this with the Kamehameha as well? Yeah, no, no mob stands a chance. This might be one of the strongest hero pack characters. Besides the Saitama one I've shown in the past, this guy's really strong, which is to be expected. It's freaking Goku. But there we go, guys. That is where I'm going to end this hero pack showcase. A lot of different characters and a lot of different things in this one multiverses hero pack. If you guys want to jump in and try it out for yourself there are so many different characters like we have freaking black adam we have aquaman we have cyborg from team titans we have john wick like i said earlier heck we even have characters like star girl and more robin from team titans all these other characters so if any of these interest you then be sure to download the hero pack and also show him some love let him know that i sent you there but with all that said i hope you guys did enjoy this video my name is troy thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe we're literally 1,000 subscribers away or only a couple subscribers away from 700 thousand subs so if you guys can get us there or by the time you're watching this video if we've already hit it you may as well subscribe let's try and hit 800k <laughs> oh no that's a, that's another dream but i hope you guys enjoy this one my name is troy and i'll see you guys in the next video see you boys